Hi again, Pete from Record. Two things I'm going to show you. One is the um, extractor um, through the Posios with one motor running, then two motor running. Um, and also I've got some um, pen blanks that I previously did uh, in another video that I'm actually going to use now just for the demonstration purposes. And at the time I said that um, in that I'd done them quite mean and keen and they're nicely centered and that will be apparent when I um, switch the machine on. Um, they're nice to say that they're well centered and I've cleaned up right to the, t uh, to the barrels almost um, so there's a little waste on there. So first of all if I run it with one motor then I'll go and switch on the other one and show you the difference. So this is one. So it's, any extractor is not going to pull from the atmosphere. It, the waste still needs to be guided into it. So this is with one motor running. So she, it takes it in. Well, like I say, it's not going to pull from the atmosphere. You actually need to guide the waste in. That's where the poseable hose comes into its own. You can drop this down, moving around to, to your best position. So excuse me, I'll just go and switch the other one on. Now with two motors, a little bit more on the noise level, but a lot more aggressive on the, on the flow of the air. So this is going to be quite useful, more for when I'm sanding. It's going to reduce most of that sanding waste. It's going to take a lot of the chippings away, but I'm not too bothered about those in the main. They're not the things that's going to do the worst damage to you, it's the dust. So that's all locked up, um, all in place. So I'm going to be able to turn that quite easily without having to the fear of if it's too far out, I'm actually going to burst through and hit the, um, the tube. And also if you're using some acrylics and um, um, the dark ones are okay, but if you're using something light coloured, then you what you don't want to do is get too thin on the walls and you actually see the tube insert. Just check that everything's clear. I don't want too much of a gap. Try and because the blanks are uh, quite running quite true as well, I can see the gap that I've got between the material, so I'm going to follow it quite reasonably. Locked off there, locked off on there. I've just pushed that up. Don't over tighten this when you when you're running on the bearing. There's no need to over really over tighten it. So put the noise on. Thank you. 
mostly taken away. This is a little bit higher than normal because I've put on my bench here to bring the suits where I'm doing. Um, but ideally, your, your rest needs to be about uh, elbow height, so to say this is a little bit higher. going to do now is select the reverse mode. I'm going to start off with a series of grits. I'm now going from about 80 grit and working up to 600 and something odd. So there'll be different patterns of dust and what I want to try is guide that as best as I can. I've got the tool rest and everything out of the way now so I've almost got the sleeves rolled up so I've got nothing to catch on the such. is coming out like I've got no scratches on there I 
spacers. So when I put my pen fittings on, they should they should all uh, marry up nicely. So there should be no lumps in the in the joints. Stop that. I'm going to put this is quite, it's not bad to really. So, what I'll do is just going to put a little bit of speed and ease on here. This is the that's a bit of an old darker one, so I don't want to do that. Let's just rub it into the, into the pen itself. You can get all sorts of finishes, it's a very basic one, this was more just to show you how the extractor worked with the machine, with the machine in process. Final bit of a finish, and just to what I'll do is just put a little bit of wax in there just to give it that little bit of buff up on there. But that's it. Basically, that was to show you. Um, the pens, the blanks, how accurate they are, so it's, you always get better accuracy on a lathe like this when you're drilling out. And then to show you the, the effectiveness of the dust extractor, um, more in the sanding mode, so it doesn't you get you're still going to fire a few chippings around, but it's more important um, when the sanding mode. And if you're going to do a lot of it, get yourself a, a good mask as well. Uh, always wear a mask. Um, this d demonstration is more controlled from what I'm doing. I'm only using a little bit of sycamore, as I say, nothing exotic. No dust is good for you, but um, look after yourselves. And we'll catch you soon. Hopefully, that was a little bit of use for you, and um, speak to you soon.